going on everybody? Uh, this is Jen catching you on DTWJ representing on J all day with an update. Three days later it is um, it's technically March the 2nd. I thought it was still the 1st. Um, the 26th was the day that I found out about my friend passing. I'm doing a little bit better. Um, not perfect and definitely not at 100% right now. Um, but I'm doing better, I have to thank um, everybody, all my friends um, on Facebook for, you know, the kind words and uh, your prayers, your vibrations, everything that you've been sending me because it's been working and thank you so much. Um, I also wanted to thank uh, Maka Electric, I think it is, or is it Maka Electric or Maka Eclectic? I am so sorry. <laughs> I want to thank you, and I also want to thank Kirsty Lowe, the both of you, for commenting on the uh, last video that I had posted on here. Um, and that's the reason why I felt like doing um, <clears throat> an update. Um, I've been sleeping a lot, uh, mostly because when I had found out about his passing, I was ill with the flu, very high fever, things like that. That's why I'm still sniffling a little bit. Um, I'm getting better. I'm okay. Um, let's see. I've, I've been eating a lot. I've been sleeping a lot. I think I said I was sleeping a lot. Yeah. Um, I've been eating a lot. I've been, um, you know, taking care, you know, basically just, excuse me. I just had a salad that was very delicious and I'm starting to digest. <laughs> Oof, okay. Um, yeah, I've been taking care. I've been you know, doing the regular things like brushing my teeth, washing my face, cleaning my ears, um, showering. The only thing that I have not done is changed my outfit. Not good. Yeah, I, I was silly enough to do that. Shower and put on the same shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I had two sandwiches today, which is good. And a salad. Um, <clears throat> I mostly do the types of salads that are, you know, just... Uh, like iceberg lettuce, iceberg right ahead. Um, iceberg lettuce and uh, baby spinach is my favorite. I don't really like the adult spinach because you can't chew on the stems. Uh, I like to have the whole thing. Yeah, very good for your system. Uh, yeah, I've, I've just been keeping myself clean. Um, I haven't been drinking. And normally that's one thing that I would do when uh, morning of death is drinking. And that's like the worst thing that anybody could possibly do and I know that it sounds so much easier said than done <clears throat> but this is actually the very first time that I'm mourning anybody's death sober which is like holy crap um, I've never been diagnosed or deemed an alcoholic um, but I do realize that you know, when you're mourning somebody's death, drinking is like the worst thing that you can do because not only does it, you know, um, fog you up and you can't think right, um, you're unable to process what's going on. Uh, hence, you're unable to, um, I guess, evaluate the situation and uh, try to figure out, you know, how to cope with it and how to deal with it as best you can while you're mourning. Um, so yeah, um, basically I am still mourning, but I'm doing the best that I can with it. <sighs> like I said, I've been sleeping, I've been eating, I've been taking care. I'm okay. Um, you know, I'm still having my filtered water, um, eating healthy, eating right. Some junk food. I'm not going to lie. I did. I, I have gorged. I finished the entire box of Valentine's Day chocolates that were given to me. <laughs> I did. Um, and I had a couple of donuts. Go ahead, judge me. <laughs> but they were really good. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. I've not only been taking care of myself, but I've also been treating myself, which is a nice thing to do. I haven't left the house. Excuse me. I haven't left the house to be um, doing any kind of errands or anything like that. I've just been staying in. Because, you know, you never know. I mean, I could easily bump into somebody that both him and I, him and I know, a mutual friend. We'll start talking. We'll start crying. And all this kind of stuff and blubbering will happen. Not that that's a bad thing. You know, it's just, 
right now I really don't want to go through that because I've already done so much crying. Um, yeah, maybe later, not right now. <clears throat> I can only do so much of that at once uh, before like I start kind of going into a downward spiral. Uh, that's another thing that tends to happen with people, you know, who are mourning uh, somebody's death is that you tend to go into a downward spiral and a depression. Um, not that that's not natural. It certainly is. It's a natural um, response uh, to grieving is to be depressed. Um, I'm trying to, you know, basically keep my mind uh, on an even keel and balanced um, and talking with my friends. Uh, has actually been helping me quite a bit to do that, so yay. And um, like I said, thank all of you. Seriously, thank you all, because, oof, you know, like, I don't know what I would do. Um, yeah, it's, it's always good to just, like, hop on Facebook or hop on the phone and just talk with a friend about whatever it is that you need to talk about. Um, do what you have to do, because it always does help. Um, yeah, never isolate yourself. Don't drink. Um, you know, don't allow yourself to get into like a downward spiral depression. I mean, obviously it's, you know, okay to cry and, and do what you need to do. Um, but you know, after, after like some time, it's time to even that out and balance it out by, um, trying to focus on something. And, um, <clears throat> I've been doing light tasks today, even though, well, yesterday, technically it was Sunday. So that's what I was doing. I was just doing a couple of light administration tasks, nothing too serious. Um, I don't want to overwork myself or tire myself out or get upset um, because I know that if I'm overworked, I get very stressed out. So that's like the last thing that I should be doing to myself. But at the same time, I wanted to balance myself out by uh, doing something productive and constructive with my time. Um, yeah. So that helped too. <laughs> deep breaths, man, deep breaths. I'm okay. I'm here. I'm okay. Um, no, life is never perfect. Things are always going to happen. Uh, curve balls are always going to come and hit you. And you can either swing, you know, if you're uh, in good shape and fit enough to, or you could just catch that sucker and be like, are you serious? <laughs> Stick it in your back pocket, save it for later, and then just whip that thing right back like you mean it. All in the wrist, baby. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, I don't know what else to say. <sighs> Except, you know, I'm just very grateful to have, you know, all the friends that I do in my life um, that have been helping me through this. Uh, that have been completely supportive. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea. <laughs> you have saved my heart from crumbling, like really. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still hurting, but it's, it's not any worse than it needs to be. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, it's two minutes to three in the morning. Yeah, and it's... Uh, I think I said what date it is already. It's March the 2nd, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm up. Yeah, because uh, my body clock had changed. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's okay. <sighs> at least I was able to get something done. And at least I'm okay. I'm not upset. Like, I'm not severely upset to the point where... I'm down spiraling. I'm just kind of like floating, so to speak. Like I'm balanced. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's it's helping. It's actually helping that right now. Um, it's basically the astrological first house, which is Aries. Aries is my rising sign. So that's basically the sign that uh, simply put says to me, uh, rise to the occasion. You must rise to the occasion. And um, I'm doing that now. I'm waking up and I'm living every day. And I'm continuing. Uh, I'm still hurting. I'm still going through my grieving process, but I'm still living. Um, <clears throat> it just uh, Now I'm at least able to, to focus and function. 
So I'm very grateful for that right now. Still resting, you know, getting my sleep, eating a lot, doing what I gotta do. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I just want to thank you all so much for your support, um, for your comments. I really appreciate it. It's been Jay catching you on DTWJ. Keeping it real as always. See you on the next one. Take care.